Okay, today I'm here with Andrew Ma from Jans. Andrew, welcome. G'day. Um, now this is this is pretty exciting. ETC have a new lighting fixture. They do a new lighting fixture in the Source Four range. Okay. Uh, yeah. Source Fours have been around since the early '90s. Uh, it's the first lighting fixture that was designed lamp first. So they created the source and then created a fixture around it. So it uses the HPL lamp, whether that be an HPL 575 or an HPL 750. Okay, now the HPL is a pretty efficient lamp in terms of output. What's that comparable to Well, an HPL in other series? It's a very efficient filament design. So mm -hmm. what it means is basically your HPL 750 uh, can give you an output matched by around about a thousand watt lamp in a, in a comparable other lamp type which are frequently used in this kind of product. Okay, so that's 25% power saving, that's, mm -hmm. that's a pretty good start. Sure. So Andrew, obviously there's, there's some advantages to, to having all your fixtures in your inventory using the same lamp stock. Mm. Um, it gives you slightly better buying power with your suppliers. Sure. Um, and it, it means, you know, it makes everything much, much simpler to keep track of in terms of inventory. The lamp mech in this, the actual lamp base and how you change the lamp out is quite cool, isn't it? Sure. Sure, you've got a basically a micro-switched compartment down here. So that opens out. Yep. That's relatively straightforward to access your lamp. And that's a huge chunk of metal that that lamp is attached to, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, there must be a bit of aluminium there. Um, pretty good for uh, dissipating heat, one would have thought. Yeah. Well, I mean, overall, that, that then sits into another... That, Looks very sort of like something you'd see out of a MacGyver show, really, doesn't yeah, it's it? It's got a certain MacGyver appeal, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Um, diffuse the source for. Um, <laughs> nice, but no, that much metal, you know, it's, it's going to dissipate the heat quite well. Sure. Uh, and I think that's good because the less heat inside the fixture, the better. Less heat of the lamp, the better, um, particularly because, I mean, they'll be better for our lamp life as well. Mm, definitely. Yeah. Now... Obviously, we, we haven't really discussed the specifics of the fixture, which is that it is a Fresnel. Yep. Do you know the history on the Fresnel? I could I could have a punt at the history of a Fresnel. Look, uh, Go on. <laughs> uh, Fresnels have, have been around for a long time. And so I suppose we're thinking, you know, I mean, it's a, uh, essentially the term Fresnel refers to that step lens at the front of this thing. And a lot of people are more than familiar with this sort of stuff. Uh, that was originally developed um, for lighthouse lamps, lighthouse lenses, sorry, because the idea is you had to make a very, very large lens. Mm. And so if you actually made that out of a piece of glass, it'd be it'd incredibly, be incredibly heavy, heavy. Incredibly heavy. So the idea is you create a stepping yeah. uh, of, of concentric circles that creates that lens shape without act actually having to use that much glass. Mm. So of course that's found its way a long time ago into lighting fixtures. So, I mean, a Fresnel probably isn't the newest, most exciting bit of lighting technology out there. Maybe not. However, um, they're very handy and they're a real workhorse for the theatre. Um, they cast a soft edged beam that casts soft edged shadows. And it's typically a nice flat beam as well yep. in terms of output. Yep. Um, okay, so specifically related to, to this fixture, there's a couple of nice things about this one. The first one I think is, um, is your focusing adjustment there. Yep, it uses a worm gear to adjust the lamp position and hence your beam angle. Um, nice thing about that is that uh, you can get a pretty precise control of that. Um, some other products have a sort of a forward and backward. Um, I, should, I wish I knew the exact term. Actually, forward sliding and thing. Sliding thingo. Which is fine. Which is fine. Until occasionally, <laughs> occasionally if they can, they can, um, they can reach a point where you're a bit locked or a bit blocked. Mm -hmm. You push forward with a hot lamp, and you can get some some lamp popping and that sort of stuff. So um, this sort of this sort of design uh, gets around that kind it's of thing. A little bit smoother. Yeah. And the yoke lock's nice and solid there. Yep. Um, obviously, you've got you've got a little pop up cover here, mm -hmm. which lets you uh, put in your accessory, yeah. beam accessories, so filters, yep. barn doors. There's a barn door, yeah. Yep. You can get a barn door for it. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Um, in terms of other accessories, obviously, there's a, a safety attachment point yep. there, which is not yep. part of the yoke, so that's in a good integral thing. to the chassis, which is a, a die cast chassis. Okay, so die-cast chassis, look, in general, it, it seems pretty well made. Um, yeah. Pricing-wise, where does it sit in the market? Rec retail is about 540 bucks, and a barn door will cost about 100 bucks. So it um, should be pretty, pe pretty, pretty competitive pretty on, price. Yeah. on par with, a, yeah. with, with, with other Fresnels. <laughs> yeah. All righty, excellent. Well, look, Andrew, that's this, this ETC Source 4 Fresnel. Yep. Thanks for your time today. No worries. Cheers.